All right, let's just get this out of the way because, well, first of all, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really, really appreciate it. But I wanted to give a heads up because it is going to rain for, the forecast says about four days. And that actually interferes with my filming schedule. I depend a lot on outside filming, structure, facility, space. I haven't quite yet figured out what I'm going to do inside when the weather doesn't allow me to do what I would like to do outside. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you that I'm getting ready for the downpour. I'm taking the orchids that can do with it out of their masks, taking them away from the structure, the overhangs, and this only applies to orchids that are not in sheath and don't have a new growth starting. If they have a new growth, like for example, my Zelemnia here, then I am confident enough that with the air circulation, they're gonna be okay. If for example here, very exciting, very exciting, I have a new growth on my Lelia Flava, I need to repot this one, but again, I'll have to wait until after the rain, but it's going into one of those nice square pots in my opinion. But anyway, so there's a small growth here and it's gonna be pouring with rain. I'm not too concerned because for Lelia Flava, that is normal, it's its time of year and I'm sure the orchid is now strong enough to be able to handle it. So my judgment is she'll be okay with nature's flush. But other than that, I spend a lot of time cleaning out masks. I come out, grab myself four or five, run into the kitchen, and then wash them out. And you can see that some of my orchids here, they're staying underneath, they're not getting their flush. They've been recently repotted, so they're getting regular flushes anyway for the new roots to go down into the media, but they're also new growths coming everywhere and I will not risk those for uh, a lot of rain. Here is um, the durigan. There is a sheath in this new growth, can you believe it? I don't know if it's going to bloom, wait and see, but that new growth is coming along so nicely, I'm not going to mess around with it and put it into the rain, even though I'm so tempted. Same with my leonis down there and my Cattleya araguaensis, which is also developing a new growth. Ugh, there we go. I'm not going to risk that. I need that one to get strong. But masks, as you can see, I shall be grabbing everybody that has is out of their masks and I shall be cleaning them, taking advantage. Last year, I did a whole bulk Spent a whole day cleaning the inner masks, but that was tedious. That was tedious. So I'm just going to come out while well, most of the orchids are going to be out of their masks and just grab me a couple here and there during the rainy days, seeing as I can't really do much of anything else and clean them out. So you can see, here we go. It is actually a day early. This was not on the forecast. But things like all my summer bloomers, the rain is still going to be warm enough. The temperatures are not going to go below 15 degrees. They are all out of their masks. You look at the Schomburgia. Yeah, but here we go, I've got masks lined up underneath here. I just come in. Usually I'm wearing a raincoat <laughs> and I dash out, grab some masks and run back in. So these guys are gonna get nature's flush and we might forfeit the blooms, but that's okay. For the time being, I really want them to get flushed. I have to remove the panaricas from their masks and I'm looking forward to seeing the Angracoids getting a good flush as well. My Phragmopedium Garen Weaver is gonna love it. And both the Stanhopias 
are going to go nuts with this rain, as is my Vanda totem pole here. Something terrible happened with that freak wind that we had. It blew the stand over, and look, it's cracked the top. It's kind of weak. I'm not going to keep jiggling on it, but I thought, oh, look, a new root. And then I looked closer. I'm like, oh, no, a crack. I was really lucky because it fell into and on top of the angraecums there, but was stopped by the hedge because of the length of its crown here. So I was lucky I didn't lose my angraecums. I was so panicked. No roots were broken in the process, just unfortunately a crack. Yes, so we already have a drizzle going. Like I said, that was not forecasted. And I've got all the vandas and vandacious ones now hanging out to get a good drenching. So a little drizzle won't do much, considering how much flushing they can do with. But um, it's going to get bad if anything by the forecast. It's going to get bad by Thursday, and I will not be able to film. I have videos lined up for the next four days in anticipation of this forecast. But if you don't see another video coming out after that, then that is weather conditions. I have also been very surprised at my personal uploading every day since I started my channel. But I figured the orchids were doing something that were of interest that I wanted to document on my channel. So I kept filming and I kept uploading. If the orchids aren't doing anything, then there is no need to grab the camera for the sake of grabbing the camera. But this video is to explain that if from one day to the next, there isn't a video in about four days, this would be because of weather. And if I get a break in the weather because I want to repot my flower, then I shall film that. But yeah, just to let you know, I will still be busy with the kids, but I won't be doing the filming with it because who wants to watch me wash masks? <laughs> oh, let me show you one thing while we're at it. So my Encyclia Garciana Alba was always in a plate of water this summer and it did really well. It is a monster by now. I can't hang it up anymore because the hook broke. So I'm uh, contemplating what to do with this one as I'm getting new roots. But I'm also thinking, why do it now? I'm scared because of the time of year. But it is just chucking out growths left, right and center and still lying in a plate of water. Look, some of the new growths again have the wrinkly leaves. Look at that in there. And that is shocking because that means that the roots that are growing on these new growths are not reaching the water. And I do feel that I will have to separate it. It looks really nice and shiny now, doesn't it? Yep, I've been around sporadically spraying on a very, very cloudy day is what I like to do with insecticidal soap because I've got winter pests that seem to think now's their time. I'm having none of it. Look at this. My tessellata black. That's mealybugs. And I've been over it and over it and over it with alcohol, paintbrush, etc. But today, most of the ones that are now out and about, they all got doused with some insecticidal soap. Sorry for that jiggle. See what they're doing to my keikis. At least that's what they're trying to do and I'm not going to accept it. No way, Jose. Sorry, Jose, it's not happening. Anywho, just a heads up. I hope that everybody is doing well. I'm going to see how wet these guys get. If need be, if it's a three day ongoing rain, then they are coming back under cover to dry out. My temperatures on Sunday are gonna to drop to 13 degrees Celsius. 
and I need them dry by Sunday to come inside. So it's calculation nation here now. This is not like, oh, it's summer, we can just get on with it. This is now calculation nation. Let's get the timing right and let's get one more good flush in before we kind of have to say, time to go inside. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Just a quick heads up, I really appreciate it. I appreciate your support over all these months. Again, daily videos were not on my agenda. It's just how things happen. But in case now you know, if there is a lapse in videos, it's because of climate. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Take care and stay safe. Bye.